Positioned below the 1.5 liter four cylinder version, the 81 TSI is fitted with the 1.0 liter turbo three cylinder found in the current runout version for improved fuel efficiency and, perhaps more importantly, a sharper price. It's not quite confirmed for Australia yet, but it's likely it will join the family in 2024. There is scope to expand the range, but not in the first year of sale, says Skoda Australia. But we hope it does, because this more accessible version of the all new Fabia makes light work of some big car duties. Things we like dynamics and comfort balance, fuel economy, sharp styling throughout. Not so much, three pot rev hang, laggy transmission, no paddle shifters. Australia's road rules might have you believe that a five-door with just three cylinders under its bonnet would be a death trap on Europe's 130 km per hour limit, plus a bit, three ways but the 81 TSI is incredibly capable at demolishing distance. Its seven-speed dual-clutch auto has the perfect ratios for optimizing the prominent torque at lower speeds, and while overtaking becomes a bit more of an effort near the speed limit, it has the legs for comfortable cruising. At lower speeds, the 81 TSI's engine and transmission are calibrated for more relaxed progress. The full 200 newton meters of torque is developed quickly, making for rapid progress but a reluctance to rev combined with a little rev hang at higher engine speeds removes any hope that this version might moonlight as a baby RS, along with an occasionally laggy and flustered transmission made more obvious by the lack of shift paddles. Steering responsiveness is a treat, the Fabia has an obedient front end, it's light on its feet and there's heaps of grip from the Michelin Primacy 3 rubber, particularly in the wet. But easily its strongest virtue is economy. Skoda claims a combined figure of 5.5 liters slash 100 kilometers and even with a week of decidedly ambitious driving style loaded with luggage and enthusiasm, the little Skoda still managed a figure of 6.2 liters slash 100 kilometers. We particularly liked the windscreen ice scraper hiding in the fuel flap, device holders for rear passengers and USB-C charge port behind the rearview mirror for powering a dashcam. Knitting all that substance together is a new design that has an adult's confidence and more effectively aligns with the rest of the Skoda family. There's no faux sports D-shaped steering wheel, opting for a more mature round version with cool phantom third spoke. The seats usurp leather in favor of a pleasant and high-quality fabric, while the dash is ergonomically laid out. The Fabia has also grown up technologically. Wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, wireless device charging, self-parking, adaptive cruise control and speed sign recognition are all available, as is navigation. Practicality also ranks very highly with a car that is both a decent size, measuring 4.1 meters long and just less than 1.8 meters wide, but still has the visibility and perfectly placed driving position to handle the proportions in Prague's tight and distractingly beautiful streets. The 380-liter luggage area is big for the class. But, for the brand that forged its place in the market as the euro that costs less, the Fabia is getting rather pricey. Then again, with its excellent blend of sharp chassis, equipment and fuel economy, an additional member of the fourth-gen Fabia family will be more in keeping with the brand's core values and well worth the wait.